Ravi Bapara emphasised his skills with both bat and ball to dominate Essex Eagles' seven-wicket win over Lancashire Lightning in Chelmsford. Warmich arrived with 17 overs to spare. Put in after losing the toss, Lancashire's innings simply never got going in difficult batting conditions. David Masters getting through his 10 overs early on for figures of 1 for 20 after he'd arrived late to the game because of a traffic accident on the M25. Only two fours were hit in the first 10 overs and then Bapara got to work immediately after coming on to deliver the 21st. He caused plenty of problems with his medium paces. Two for 15 from his first spell was followed with the later wickets of Jordan Clark and Kyle Jarvis as he returned to bowl the last over, by the end of which Papara had four for 31 and Lancashire had managed to get only to a total of 161 for nine from their 50 overs. Just nine fours and two sixes present in that. While that score might have been something a team in the early 1970s may have found difficult to chase down, that is no longer the case in the modern era, of course. In the end, Bapara scored a large percentage of those runs himself at more than a runner ball to ensure that his side secured a good net run rate, something that might just become important in a couple of weeks' time. The next highest individual score in this whole match was 37. Bapara made his 50 off 48 balls and pretty much kept up that kind of rate throughout an innings that suggests that he doesn't want to become England's forgotten man as they move into the new era of positivity in the one-day format. Such was Bapara's form on this occasion that he even managed to hit this ball to the boundary even though he broke his bat while playing this shot. On this evidence, Bapara has every chance of achieving a few more games for England. Rarely can an all-rounder have had so much influence on one game more than this one. He took his tally of sixes to three as he twice cleared the rope of Gavin Griffiths. His timing of both his shots and the accumulation of his runs was spot on, as with the runs required down to three and Bapara on 97, he struck a boundary to get to three figures for the 14th time in list A cricket, while winning this one-sided contest at the same time. Bapara ended on 101 as Essex won by seven wickets with 102 balls remaining, or 17 overs, and that's the kind of performance which will send out a few messages to other teams. The Eagles now take on Warwickshire at home in a day-nighter on Wednesday, while the Lightning entertain Middlesex at Stanley Park in Blackpool on the same day.